I think as computer enthusiasts, we've probably all been through this at least once. We get all wrapped up like planning and building a sick new gaming rig and we're like super excited. And then we realize as we're plugging it into all of our old peripherals that maybe it would have been wise to save some of our budget to upgrade the rest of the experience. Oops. Welcome back to the Roadside Attraction. As you saw in that little clip I sped up earlier, I had just uh, off camera, or I guess sped up on camera, set up this rain collector barrel. We don't have enough carpentry to make the good one yet, so we just start off with a shitty small one. But it still holds 160 water, so that's going to be uh, right on tap for whenever the water shuts off and we don't have access to water anymore. And I also read two books, those being uh, Electrical for Beginners and Mechanics for Beginners. Now I have, because we're almost done with Electrical Level 2 anyway, the intermediate book just on us. But uh, today I want to go down to the gated community and try to level up our electronics and mechanics just by disassembling everything everyone has laying around there. I think that would come in handy. Because uh, once you get level... Well, how about that? Looks like I'm going to have to read that Mechanics for Intermediates book after all. <laughs> back and uh, this time with one more book read <laughs> uh, now I can actually finish dismantling all these electronics things I wanted to do and get them out of my inventory because uh, we're a bit overburned in right now now if you noticed I've had the very hungry mood lit this whole time I've been uh, doing stuff around the base and that's because we're at 99 kilos now and we're right on the verge of overweight becoming obese and that really fucks with your ability to do shit like you can't run anymore so I'm trying to keep an eye on that. But most of the food we have stocked up, it's really like uh, fatty food. Like we got three cupcakes in the fridge for God's sake. So we're just going to have to sort of watch what we eat a bit more. Which is a bit unfortunate because when you have the hungry moodlets, your carrying capacity goes down. Now another thing I noticed was this radio wasn't... Yeah, battery's dead. Hold on. I should have some around here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, take out this battery. Uh... Oh, drag battery in here. Okay. Does that work? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And this is just dead. I'm going to throw it on the floor. I don't think we really need a dead battery. <laughs> Alright, well, we have our screwdriver. We have our books read. Uh, let's bring a bit of food for us for this journey. I'd like to be able to loot some stuff, and we're really just running low on inventory space. Probably don't need 93 nails on us when we're going out somewhere. I'll throw the can opener in the bag, matches in the bag. And this still has a lot of slots. Alright, yeah. Let's head on down. Just in time for a dog to start barking. If that's not a good omen, I don't know what is. 
Okay, just making sure that uh, <laughs> we did read the How to Use Generators book. I know we've had it for forever, but I always... Back of my mind is telling me you should really make sure you have that ready for when the power goes out. <laughs> but I guess there's worse things that could be repeating in the back of your mind, right? <laughs> so I know it's uh, on this side of town over here to the, what would that be, east? I uh, don't know exactly the way there, but usually I don't, and it usually checks out. <laughs> Speak of the devil, here we are. And that's already a bunch of them. Oh shit. Well. I'm not gonna be stopping the car. I think this music's about to get swapped out for something a little more action packed. Or maybe not. <laughs> Look at these one taps. Dwayne Tenny. Holy shit. Dwayne! Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into the thick of it. I think when they're on their own, you have a higher chance of one shotting them than when they're all clustered together. I don't know why that would be. Just sort of anecdotal how I find it. You should stay down. <laughs> uh, that was a guy at my feet that made that loud screech. Well, holy shit. I don't know how many that was, but uh, decent bit of work by doing there. <laughs> Uh, any more watches on you guys? I mean, that's what we want to do is up. I was gonna expect. Oh shit! I don't even think we have a gun yet. Throw that in the holster, right? I mean, it doesn't have any ammo, but you know, now it's. Why are they all walking that way? <laughs> I was gonna say now we can point it and you know attempt to threaten people, right? <laughs> I'm gonna shut this car off. I was expecting to need to get out of there, but I don't know. Dwayne is just the monster of a man now. <laughs> Almost long way three already. What are you guys doing over here? They, it's like, uh, they heard the car up there, so they just walked up there. <laughs> They're not seeing me park, killing all the other zombies. I don't know, maybe they can't see through this fence, like it's, uh, although I can see through it. But maybe for them it's like, uh, they can only get sound through it, not visual, right? Or maybe they just really don't care, and they just wanted to run away from me. Which, honestly, probably the smartest thing these zomboids could do. <laughs> Unless they're in a candle shop. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. This gated community. I promise I didn't burn that house down. <laughs> this gated community, it's got these real big buildings. And they all have garages and they're going to have lots of electronics like this TV. So I think this will be a really good place to level up these skills. Although there is definitely at least one in this house right now. How you doing? Oh... Brutal. Oh, I didn't even hear it coming. Golf club. If we could pick up, uh, like, a baseball bat or something, uh, that would be a good backup weapon. Although we do have two machetes, so I don't know how necessary that is. Here, let's close these blinds and disassemble this television. That's what it's all about. <laughs> One at a time. Now, something interesting. Uh, these fireplaces, that uh, there's a bunch of them in this area. You can actually use those as uh, ovens, so when the electricity runs out, if you don't have a generator, you can use those. But they, I don't think you can make them. I think you just have to have a house that has them already. Uh, anything good in the bookshelf? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, where'd you go? What in the hell? I swear that zombie was, like, right here. <laughs> Maybe Dwayne is seeing things, man. Holy smokes. Oh, well, look, we can disassemble this radio, too. No, oh, excuse me. I wonder how much electricity we need to pick this up. Three? Yeah, it's three for the uh, stove, too. If we could get, like, a washer-dryer set up, I think that'd be pretty sweet. So we don't have to wash everything out of uh, our sink. And <laughs> throw on soaking wet clothes. Dismantle this, too. It's a lot quicker to dismantle radios when they're in your inventory instead of when they're placed on a table. Uh, just a quirk, I guess. <laughs> uh, we already have a lug wrench, right? Pretty sure we do. Yeah, I don't want to fill up our inventory with that. Although I would like these seeds. That's quite nice. Surprise tool that'll help us later right there. <laughs> Alright, I guess let's go check out what the kitchen is saying. Then we can head upstairs and see if there's anything good. Oh my god! Now this is some good shit here. Got an axe? Who just keeps an axe in like their kitchen? Man, they get three axes in just their kitchen. 
Holy. <laughs> and a carpentry for a beginner's book. A bunch of nails. Holy shit, man. This house is unreal. You got a saw, an axe, a hammer, all sorts of shit in here. This would be a really good house to go immediately. I wonder if it's just randomized or if this one always has some good shit like that. Did we need expert carpentry? Nice! Dude, this house is fantastic. I love this place. If I was going to burn down any buildings, which I'm not saying I would, this wouldn't be it. <laughs> um, hmm. I'd probably just go back to the... Oh, what are you doing? <clears throat> just go back to the car and drop all this loot off. I wasn't expecting so much good shit in the first house. They can't all be like this, right? This is going to take forever. Not that that's really a bad thing, but... Uh, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting it. Just a light? No, just that light. Fair enough. <laughs> I heard the light switch go off and I saw it was dark, so I was wondering if the power went out, like, just then. I'd be something else. Surely we have a Metalworks for beginners at home. Eh, well, I'm gonna throw shit in the car, whatever. <laughs> and we need more uh, garbage bags, because I used all the ones we had on that rain collector barrel. So gotta keep our eyes out for those. Golf club with pipe. Uh, another radio? Perfect. What's in this one? Another expert carpentry. I got two copies of it. Uh, I saw a CD player a second ago. I think we'll take that book. I haven't read this magazine. Where was that CD player? Here we go. Perfect. Oh, and these lamps. You know, you might be able to set up in one of these houses. Like, they kind of have everything you need, don't they? <laughs> but if you're going to be setting up in the gated community, you might as well just take out everything, right? And then clear the whole area, and then you have just a nice big place. Well, I guess you would need a shit ton of generators, wouldn't you? <laughs> or I wonder if you built, like, um... Hear me out on this, right? Like, let's say you build a wooden platform from one house to the other. Like, on the second level. Uh, much like how we have inside our Gigamart. And then you placed a generator on the middle of that. Would that power up two houses? I'm not sure how that works. Might be interesting. <laughs> What's our electrical? Holy shit, we're almost level three already. Those books, man, they make the game so much... Uh... <clears throat> By the game, I don't mean Zomboid. I mean the uh, dismantling electronics game. <laughs> I'm glad I clarified that. I'm not sure how easy that was uh maybe i should have picked a better term but uh they really help like you need to take out so many more houses if you're not getting the books and that goes for everything you need so many more cars so many more um metal things built <laughs> i don't know i don't you know just everything but uh the downside is i have lost quite a few runs trying to get books and like if you die trying to get food, you know, that doesn't really hurt so much, because you would die without the food, right? If you die trying to get water, you're gonna, you know, dehydrate. But dying for books, man, it just feels bad. <laughs> oh, it looks like we got a survivor house here. Oh, shit. They even barricaded up both windows there. Alright. You're gonna need a stronger barricade to keep Dwayne out. These usually have some good loot, but because of how good that last house was, like, I don't know if I can expect... To Okay, this place has good loot. <laughs> Holy shit, spiked baseball bat? Dude, this place slaps. Why haven't I gone to the uh, gated community every time? This is unreal. <laughs> Three boxes of ammo, new gun. I don't have a shotgun to use that uh, shotgun ammo on, but one day maybe, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Grab a stick of butter. Why not? <laughs> Now, I know there's some serious zomboid action going on around here. Are they in here? Nope. This door's moving. Where is that? This house layout's a bit weird. Here. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do better than that. <laughs> uh, already red. Lead pipe plunger. Anything over here? No? They just broke down a door somewhere, so we better stay on high alert. Uh, he's not getting through that anytime soon. Metalwork already read. We can disassemble that TV. But this window doesn't have any barricades. So I'm a bit uh, uncertain how smart it is to disassemble the whole TV. It takes a while. Yeah, look. How are you doing? Here, I tell you what. Now this is a pro move, right? What you do is you pick up the TV. And then you go behind 
a door. <laughs> it's a lot harder to break a door than a window, right? Then we disassemble it here in peace. <laughs> Perfect. I just broke something there. Uh, I probably have all sorts of shit. I don't need my inventory right now. Aluminum, green light bulb. I wonder if you can put the uh, green light bulbs in the lamps. And it would actually light up green. Because I assume this is a really tiny light bulb if it came from a television set, right? <laughs> it's not like they just have one big green, one big red, one big yellow. And figure it out, right? <laughs> it's a whole bunch of small ones. All right. I hear a radio somewhere. So that's going to be up here. I think it's set to the automated broadcast because it's making noise. Which would be nice if we didn't already find it. But since we did, you know, it's just sort of unnecessary. <laughs> All right. I hear a lot of them. I'm a bit on edge. Why do they have... They used to have a jar of spaghetti sauce in their bathroom. <laughs> just in case, man. Just in case. And, yeah. No? I could have sworn that they would have been in here. That's unnerving. I have no idea where these guys are, but they are really loud. Like, it sounds like they're right behind me. Oh. Got a bit of thread, at least. Is there a third house? On oh. How are you doing? <laughs> All that time trying to get me. Died in two bits. Just a shame, really. Here is another guy. How are you doing? See, is this set up to the emergency? No, just Nox talk, huh? It's more like, Nox, don't talk, because you're getting disas- Oh, I fucking get up! <laughs> Jesus. As I was saying, more like Nox, don't talk. <laughs> I got Freddy Faz right there. I won't. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> that made me jump. Oh, gotta be careful with those high speeds, man. <laughs> I'd be a bit anxious after that, too. Let's get you a smoke, buddy. We leave the lights on in this house. <laughs> Yeah, man, the loot on that random house was so much better than the survivor one. Alright, which one did I bring? This one here. Let's get out of here. But with that said, we do have level 3, where is it? Electronics now. So we could. How much does a stove weigh if we pick this bastard up? Only 20. We can throw that in one of the seats of our car. Let's do that. Now we can go grab a laundry machine and a dryer. One for each seat. <laughs> oh shit, someone's nearby. Okay, throw this in quick. Where is it? We're gonna wanna leave out this door. <laughs> You're getting beat to death with the bare hands, buddy. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Look at that. Clean tap. Now, I'm going to go around the back of this house, because I remember the guy who was banging on the laundry room door. I don't want to spend a lot of time picking those objects up when he's right close, you know? And is that guy coming, too? Yeah, look, he already broke through his two planks there earlier. How you doing, big guy? Three hits? He only wants a big guy. <laughs> For you. <laughs> uh, where'd that other guy? There you are. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Now we're both very hungry and drowsy, so it might be time to get a bit of coffee in us. Poor Dwayne. I hope he enjoys the taste of coffee beans, because I've made him eat quite a few. <laughs> I assure you, Dwayne, eating raw coffee beans is essential to your survival and well-being. <laughs> that looks like this one weighs 20 as well. These guys don't have a dryer, it looks like, though. That's too bad. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Leaving the door. The thing's boarded up! <laughs> now, how many zombies did we kill, I wonder, just coming in? Because that was two groups, and like... Yeah, sure, there's probably a bunch more in this com like community, but... I've been saying it a lot, and I think it's true. Like, this is a really good mega base structure. Like, if you're playing on a server, set up a gate here, one at the other side, and everyone has their own house. There must be something that makes it more complicated than that, right? Maybe a horde event. You wouldn't want them all funneling in to escape, right? <laughs> but what are the odds of that? 
It's not like people make sounds in this game. Or that there's objects that make a whole hell of a lot of noise in this area. <laughs> Alright, well that's two houses down. And that one's already broken before... Oh, here we go. You guys want a piece? Come and get it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Just making sure I have... Sometimes I forget that uh, disassembling electronics leaves the screwdriver out. So just making sure I have the actual weapon before we take on this whole horde. <laughs> Man, that guy already has a bandage on. I wonder what got him. There we go. Alright, let's check out this place now. Now this is a good track. I like this. <laughs> Aw, they didn't leave the door open for me. That's too bad. Looks like I'm going in the window. <clears throat> Perfect. Anything good in here? Yep, mac and cheese, always nice. Empty cooking pot. I should probably grab that, actually. Uh, what was in here? Tea bag. What the fuck? Okay, someone's in this house somewhere. Oh, there he is. Uh, see ya. <laughs> oh my god, that was perfect. See ya! Just instantly puts him down. Don't really need the ice cream anymore because uh, we're trying to lose weight not gain it. <laughs> Alright. I think if you eat the entire drum of ice cream, you instantly start gaining weight. <laughs> Which is, if you pick underweight at the start, I'm sure is a very helpful thing to know. But, uh, not for old Dwayne. <laughs> I wasn't in here earlier, right? Why are all these doors open? Huh. Maybe someone else was here. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. Did I just fill up that cookie pot? Okay, no. You gotta be careful when you pick up something like that, because when you hit fill all, it'll fill it up. And you're just carrying around a bunch of extra weight. <laughs> uh, here we go. Disassemble gray lamp. I probably missed a whole bunch of lamps while I was walking around aimlessly there, talking about ice cream. Hope I didn't drive anyone too crazy with that. <laughs> here we go. One. And there's all these small, like, one by two rooms usually have like a shelf or a box with some construction shit. I don't know how much we need a bag of plaster powder right now though. Oh shit, we actually got something from that. I mean one scrap electronics, but usually I just get the light bulb. But that's improvement, baby. <laughs> I haven't seen any cars yet, but I think some of the parking lots we've ransacked have had a bunch, so we can always do that. This is more so just testing the water, seeing what it's like at this place, and then I knew there'd be a bunch of electronical shit here. That poor house, man. I wouldn't see why anyone would ever burn down a building for any reason in this game. It's just rude. <laughs> oh, shit. We got a party house. Yep. So, <clears throat> the way I told, uh, knew that was I saw that guy had a party hat on. Which means this house is going to be loaded up with gamers. But there also might be some good shit here. So, uh, I'm going to take him out. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, premium walkie-talkie, nice. Uh, is he not this- oh. Man, you get a lot of shit from that radio, don't you? Uh, Alright. You know what? We're going to take a colored party hat from the road. <laughs> Just in case. Here's another guy. How you doing, old pal? That was a brutal swing. I didn't even turn around. <laughs> now there's probably more in this house, so I don't want to go any further than two speed. Onion fresh. You know what? Eating plants is usually, uh... Or vegetables. <laughs> don't eat, like, random grass. But, uh, eating vegetables doesn't really raise your weight all too much. So, we can probably make that happen. Uh, let's just assemble that TV as well now. Then probably drop some stuff up in the car because we're getting over encumbered again. Wonder if there's anything good in those bookshelves. See, there's all sorts of good stuff at this place. And so many houses too. Like if you ever finish raiding a town for all the like stores and you don't have anything like everything you need, make sure to check out if it has a gated community because these the elite here they have a whole bunch of good shit. <laughs> Believe it or not. Alright, did I end up reading? Yeah, I moved slightly before I finished reading that. I also don't tell anyone I just went to three speed there. That'll be our little secret. <laughs> uh, books. Don't need those. Uh, any garbage?
garbage bags, garbage smashed bottle. Mm. <laughs> Not quite what we're looking for. Got any lamps, radios, garbage bags? No? Want a bath towel and some cotton balls? Not quite what we're looking for. There we go. There's a lamp. Disassemble. Stripe lamp. Perfect. I, why do the lamps drop the things on the floor? But every other thing fills all your inventory up with a bunch of bullshit you don't really want, right? Why can't the rest... Like, everything else be like lamps. Drop it on the floor. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There is, like, a sneaky room hidden through this door. What is this? Is that second bathroom, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom for this room is bigger than the bathroom for everyone else. <laughs> and more books. Anything good? Uh, not really. <laughs> a couple of pens, though. Alright, let's head back to the car and drop this shit off. And then come back to one more house, probably, and then set up this new appliances we got. <laughs> I mean, what is that? Three houses? We got a stove, we got washing machine, we got a whole bunch of axes and shit, we got some books, we got another level of electronics experience. <laughs> oh, and three cases of ammo. Can't forget those. Most importantly, the colored party hat. <laughs> Throw those in there. Just a couple extra batteries in case our radio dies again. And this cold pack. Uh, I have a bunch of newspapers at home. I'll show you why I've been grabbing those newspapers. I don't want to waste it, but at the same time, I threw a Molotov in a building just for having candles yesterday. So I probably will show you what it does. <laughs> just completely honest. <laughs> Did I throw that coffee in? Yeah, I'm dumb. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. That's alright. How bad can this last building be? I mean, really. Don't even see anyone. Also, that birthday party, usually they have like 10 people on them. That one had like 3. That one showed up for his party. That's too bad. Uh, you know, one time, this was a long time ago, uh, when I was in, what would it be, elementary school, uh, a friend of mine was having a birthday party, and his birthday was in the winter, and it was like some of the worst snow uh, well, I've ever seen in my whole life, not just up to that time, because I was a kid, right? And, uh, no one else had shown up to the party, but, uh, I, like, I got taken there. Uh, can't remember why, but, uh, just sort of hung out, didn't really do anything because no one else was there, you know? Just sort of like that guy scenario, maybe the roads are really bad. Or maybe everyone said the roads are bad, we've been around this town, the roads aren't too bad. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Oh, look! This guy had a party time. Okay, that explains it. Everyone was out at this guy's party instead of his. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Uh, we're looking for a dryer. If this house. Is someone in here? You fuck off. Party's in the other house, bud. Get the fuck. You're really gonna take four hits right now? You're getting finished off with the boot. Get the fuck out of here, honestly. Uh. Oh, here we go. There's a dryer. Let's just kill this clown first. I'm trying to steal from this building. If you wouldn't mind leaving, that would be great. Uh, let's just grab the dryer and get out of here. This place isn't worth the squeeze. Here we go. Alright. Get the walk to command going. We're done here. <laughs> you can have that house. I don't want it anyway. I might have thrown a Molotov at it if it wasn't raining. I don't want to waste my last one because I have to go make another. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the Gigamart. Yeah, look, see, this place has 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh my god. We can level up our mechanics here in another time. Oh, I drove all the way around the street. The Gigamart's right here. <laughs> How about that? Alright. Turn the ignition off. And let's bring all this loot inside here. Uh, probably just throw it in the backpack and sort it out. Sort on, quote unquote, sort it out. Just like the rest of my system. Perfectly sorted. <laughs> we might be able to grab everything that's in this trunk in one go. Mm, except the wood axe. That's too bad. We'll grab that later. <laughs> bring her on up. 
just casually bring in half your body weight up a sheet rope. <laughs> Dwayne Tenney is one monster of a man, isn't it? All right, get that washing machine down. Now, is my fridge full, actually? Because I don't have anywhere to put this food if it isn't. Uh, is the freezer full? Okay, never mind. I do have somewhere to put it. <laughs> get the butter in the... If anything is going in the fridge, it should be that butter. Because that's the only one you might, you know, want in a fridge, right? Uh, is that it? I could have sworn... Yeah, here's the rest of the food. Throw this in here. Alright. You know I keep all my canned foods in the fridge. Just so they stay fresh. <laughs> uh, okay, this box full shelves aren't too bad though. Throw that in here. Next episode, uh, in the pre-episode sped up section, I will go ahead and actually sort out these uh, shelves and make a bunch more boxes because this is getting pretty unbearable. <laughs> That's sort of like in Minecraft. If you don't pay attention, you're gonna end up with everything being unsorted. Yeah, we can't store anything else in here. I'm sorry, bookshelf box, but you're getting unsorted. And there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> uh, I can't take two newspapers from you, though. Show everyone what I was talking about. Uh, mouse trap, throw that in here. Tomato seeds. Uh, some of these things are actually supposed to go in this thing, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but not many of them. Uh, throw the hammer, wood glue, thread, roasting pan, and two batteries. All right, crafting. Uh, where are you? Engineer, smoke bomb. <laughs> now, I haven't actually used these in combat, but I have just in a different save thrown one randomly. And they're pretty cool. Here, I'll go outside and show you what they do. So, like, let's say there's a whole hell of a lot of zombies down there. Now they can't see me taking shit out of this van. Or, dart car. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Uh, do I have space? You know what? This is a bit cheeky. Let's clear a bit of room in this backpack. Get a little cheeky. Just a little. Throw the washing machine. Oh, yeah. We're taking one trip, baby. You ever fit a washing machine in a duffel bag? <laughs> Dwayne Tenney never ceases to impress. That's just the kind of guy he is. All right, let's set up the stove. Nice to actually have on top, because the microwave, it works, but you can't cook things that are in like a pot or a roast pan in it, because it'll explode. And it also takes away nutrition from food, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I think it just uh, takes away like hunger and thirst and happiness. Everything gets like a small tax taken off him, for lack of a better term. <laughs> All right, and how's the... Oh, shit! <laughs> well, I guess that's where we're going to have to wrap up the episode. I didn't realize we went that quick there. <laughs> I've been the Roadside Attraction. Thanks for watching.